So, lots of things to talk about. And Henry, the, the book also is a kind of update book in a way, um, because there was an earlier book with Tom, ba Tom Brown, mm. The Road Divides. So now we have the growing <coughs> divide. I can sense a kind of um, a kind of progression through these things until we finally get, I mean, is this, how many parts are there going to be in this, do you think? Well, I think we're heading for, you know, date of destiny in the autumn of 2014. So, I mean, I think that'll be the last one before then. But I think, I think Donald Dewar first made the point that this is an, you know, this story is not going to end. And so therefore it's a, it's a journey. Um, we're not quite sure at times where we are. So I suspect there'll be more to write about. And, and what fascinates me is this could be one of the most exciting periods in you know, Scottish history for a long, long time and uh, huge issues um, for the public, for politicians uh, to deal with. But, but as, as Leslie said, the background, I mean, just let me say, first of all, this programme she talked about at Westminster, when you were asked to go on it and Leslie was interviewing, it was really quite a trial, quite a trial. And I thought at that time, you know, I'm not going to like this woman. Um, and when I did the programme, I was convinced I was never going to like this woman. <laughs> But anyway, things evolved, and, and Leslie and I um, spent a lot of time in the Prisons Commission uh, report, and uh, we, we won't go into Finland, but, uh, but I, I have to say that um, you know, things have changed a lot. But, but in 2007, the big problem was the SNP won, as you remember, the, in the Scottish Parliament elections. And at that time, they had only one seat more than Labour, but formed a minority government. And we did a book then about what was happening in Scotland, you know, the seismic changes that we thought were taking place and quite frankly were not being recognised, especially by my own party, the Labour Party. Fast forward then to the uh, last election where the SNP simply routed the opposition and I thought it was time that we did uh, an update on where we were. And I suppose at that time, Leslie, my concern and the reason for writing the book was I was really frustrated that Labour had done so badly. But then the more important part of the book was to look at how the changing face of Scottish politics and prior to 2011, where the SNP won handsomely, in 2010, for the general election at Westminster, uh, Labour swept the board. SNP were routed. But then, a year later, complete reversal in political fortunes. And I realised at that point that the politics of devolution had completely changed the face of Scotland since 1999, and we were in a new situation. So therefore, the, the context of the books was to say, frustrated about Labour, but more importantly, where was Scotland going? The book in 2007 was called Scotland, the Road Divides, and this one is now called The Growing Divide. So I think it reflects my frustration and my shifting perspective, I suppose, intellectually and politically, about where Scotland was going. So that really was the genesis of the book. Mm -hmm. And you, you say that, um you, at the start, that you and Tom believed that the Unionist parties would heed the wake-up call mm. of 2007, and they didn't. Mm. Did you really think they would? I hoped they would. Um, and there's a difference between what, thinking why? and hoped. Because essentially, you know, I always take people back to my, um, my I suppose, really socialist grandmother. You know, she was 91 when she died. She was a battle act socialist, an evangelical Christian, ex-footballer like me, um, mine worker, grandfather. Um, and between that, I had been brought up on the, the tenets of labour. Um, Westminster, where I served for 14 years, centralisation, the UK was a kind of an integral feature. And I just hope that the wake-up call that came in 2007, labour would heed. But I have to say, sadly, uh, it's a bit like, you know, setting the public an exam. Labour's view in 2007 was the public keep getting it wrong. In 2011, they still get, kept getting it wrong. But there was a state of denial from there, which still exists, I'm afraid. So, yes, I hoped so, that they would why? change, but I, I, I thought in my heart they may not. Well, that's what I wonder, though, because uh, I wonder why you had that hope. Well, if you've been, I mean, I, I am, you know, as you can see from my, my greying locks, I've been in the Labour Party for a very, very long time, and um, I'm still committed to the basic philosophy of Labour. I'm a bit concerned about the drift of the party. I still believe in fairness, justice, equality, and all of that. Um, so, therefore, it was a very difficult point to say, well, look, um, I was a unionist by nature, but I have changed quite dramatically in the time out of office. Um, but I did hope at that point in 2007 there would be a response. There wasn't. In 2011, I was hoping for a response. There wasn't, hence the second book. And sadly, I'm still waiting. <laughs>